electrical burns, and post-burn neck contracture. Electrical burns. Visible area of tissue necrosis represent only a small portion of destroyed tissue. Pathophysiology. Electrical current enters a part of the body, such as fingers or hand. Proceeds through the tissues with the lowest resistance to the current generally. Skin has relatively high resistance to electrical current and is mostly spared. Damage to nerves leads to neurological defects. Muscles take the most damage. Blood vessels experience progressive thrombosis. Heat generated by the transfer of electrical current and passage of current injured the tissues. Current leaves the body at the grounded area. Low voltage burns. Similar to thermal burns without transmission to the deeper tissues. Caused by most household current, 110 to 220 volts. Causes only local damage. High voltage burns. Varying degree of cutaneous burns at the entry and exit sites combined with hidden destruction of deeper tissues. Associated with cutaneous burns with ignition of clothing from the discharge of electrical current. Secondary injuries. Being thrown from the electrical jolt. Fall from height after disengaging from the electrical current. Violent tetanic muscle contractions may cause variety of fractures and dislocations. Management Cardiopulmonary resuscitation is indicated if ventricular fibrillation is induced secondary to electrical injury. If electrocardiogram findings are abnormal or history of cardiac arrest associated with the injury are present, pharmacological therapy for dysrhythmias. Continuous cardiac monitoring is recommended. Early exploration of the affected tissues and debridement of devitalized tissues. Followed by skin grafting and flat repair, depending on the extent of devitalized tissue. Escherotomy and fasciotomy if there is any vascular compromise to any area distal to injury. In case of severe muscle damage resulting in myoglobinuria, vigorous hydration of the patient and infusion of intravenous sodium bicarbonate and mannitol are recommended. Delayed effects in electrical burns are as follows. Central nervous system effects include cortical encephalopathy, hemiplegia, brainstem dysfunction, aphasia, delayed peripheral nerve lesion, Development of cataract. Post-burn neck contracture. Introduction. Post-burn neck contractures are significant complications following burns to the chest, neck, and face. They pose challenges in both acute and reconstructive phases of burn management. Acute phase management is done by early reconstruction, Essential for severe neck flexion contractures to aid in airway management. Prioritizing neck contractures. Addressing neck contractures is crucial before facial burn reconstruction. The extrinsic contractile forces from the neck can lead to facial deformities and affect scar maturation on the face. Treatment modalities. Split thickness skin grafting initially attempted for contracture correction, may be unsuccessful due to recurrent contracture or inadequate cosmetic and functional results. Local flap reconstruction. An effective technique for anterior neck contracture, especially when skin grafting is inadequate, provides better aesthetic outcomes and functional preservation. Paraoral deformities. Issues such as microstomia, small mouth, macrostomia, large mouth, damage to dentition, and loss of jawline definition are common. Require specialized reconstructive approaches. Prevention and early intervention is done by aggressive splinting to prevent contractures in the acute phase. Incisional releases and grafting performed for anterior neck contractures to prevent long-term sequelae. 
Timeliness Deep second and third degree burns require prompt autografting to heal properly. Surgical interventions include escherotomies, performed to decrease constriction and improve tissue perfusion in deep second and third degree burns. That's all for the video. We'll see you next time.